Welcome back to the 54th part in this Python series on the Django framework. In this one we're going to carry on with our sort of friends list that we've been working with and we're sort of hopefully going to define the model that is going to re represent the objects which are going to uh, be utilising that sort of many-to-many -many relationship that I've been talking about in the last couple of videos. So firstly I want to uh, f finish off some of the things to do with this friends list. So the first thing I think is because this is a list of other people, not a list of all people, we want to remove ourselves from that list. So if I go to profile, you can see at the moment that I'm logged in with the username Max, and that username is unique to this account. There's not going to be duplicates in the database, but because that's the default in Django, because we're using that default Django user model. And so I want to remove this username uh, from the list because it's the username that I'm currently logged in as. So that's clearly not some other person that I may want to connect with in the future. So I'm just going to change the uh, view in for the home view and I'm just going to go to where I uh, defined the uh, query that gets all the users from the database and instead of doing users.objects to all I'm going to say users.objects dot exclude so if you're not familiar with exclude it just says get everything out of the database and then remove anything that matches the filter that I'm about to describe. So let's say, for example, the ID, so the user ID is going to be equal to the request.user.id. So that's going to say, right, so it's looking for an ID, and so it's going to be matching only the ID field in the user model, and we're supplying request user ID. So request user is always going to be the logged in user and because remember they have to be logged in to see this page and so that's going to exclude us essentially, the logged in user, from that list of users. So with that small change we should be able to see that user disappears because we're logged in as that user. And now what I want to do is define the model that represents the connection between two users. So I'm going to sort of create a, a sort of mock uh, friends list, like a Facebook friends list type thing. So to do that I'm going to create a friend model. So let's go to models.py and just where we define post, just under that, I'm going to define a new class called uh, friend and this is going to be models.model and what I want to do is I just want one field. Now the field that we're going to define is going to be users because we're going to match the user accounts to each other and not only one account but many user accounts can be matched to many other accounts so they can all sort of be matched to each other in other words. To do that I'm going to say the users is equal to uh, models.manyToMany field making sure to capitalize each of these many to many field and we're just going to give it the model of uh, the user so we've conveniently already imported it up here because we used that uh, in the posts to create that foreign key there and I'm going to do the same with this many to many field and I'm just going to pass in the user model itself now now that I've done that we should be able to see we should be able to at least register it in the admin and go through that sort of process. So I'm just going to go to the admin.py for the home, which we haven't put anything in yet. I'm going to say admin.site.site.register and that's just going to be the model that we just created. So I'm going to say uh, friend. And now if we go to the admin, so admin, uh, friend is not defined, so of course we have to import it. <laughs> For, uh, from home, import, uh, so where are we? From home.models, import friend. Okay, so let's resolve that issue, refresh that. And now you can see home, so in our home app, we've got a new model called friends. And this says uh, no such table home friend, because we haven't uh, applied that. Uh, database change uh, to the database itself. So uh, we've made changes in our model that aren't reflected in a Django migration. So let's go ahead and do Django admin make migrations and we'll do it for the whole project and 
So that's created the model friend. Great. So apply that migration, Django admin migrate. And okay, so that's done. And refresh this. So run the development server again. Django admin run server. Refresh this and you can see we've got no friend. So that's actually good because it means that our model is created and we can add new users if we want to and it's presenting the sort of normal Django default interface for the many-to-many -many relationship field. So that means that everything we've done so far is working as we would expect. Whilst I'm here I might as well just register the post model because uh, we, we might as well have access to that and I'll just do post as well because I think that was defined but we hadn't registered it so now we should be able to see in the admin once our development server refreshed we've also got post there so that's a nice handy addition. Now having registered this in the admin page itself what this allows us to do is for example we can add another friend and so we're currently logged in as Max so as you can see in the top right over here but let's say I want to be friends with test and test2 so these are accounts I've previously created if I save that relationship we can see that it created a friend object so that means that we can see the relationship between the two user objects so each each user has uh, stored in the database a user object and we're simply just uh, connecting the two together so that we can have uh, uh, representation of that data displayed in our in our, our web app essentially which could be in the form of our up-to-date friends list that's how I would create a basic many-to-many -many relationship in Django and in the next one we're going to talk about actually how you would use uh, a model like this with a many-to-many -many relationship field to add these users uh, connections to each other without going through that admin graphical interface so instead we're going to do that in the code uh, utilizing that model that we've just created.